you believe that Jesus saves? Amen. Yes. How was Moses and the Israelites saved? Any different from you and I? No. no. Here's a question for you. Who was it that actually came down and told Moses to make the fence, the perimeter, and who was it that came down and spoke from outside? Jesus. It was Jesus. There are those who believe that that was God the Father, and He was the mean one out of the three, and Jesus had to keep Him settled down and quiet and break out and consume everybody. That was Jesus. Jesus is a consuming fire. When Jesus was in the temple and he cast out with one small cord uh, that he made a whip from, and he cast out all the people in the temple, okay, and he overturned the tables, how was one man able to do that? They were guards there that protected the money, right? Because that consuming fire, they were able to see that in his eyes, and they were afraid. But listen. That God that they were afraid of is the same God who gave His life so that you could be with Him throughout all eternity. He loves you more than anything in this life that has loved you. More than your mother, more than your father, more than your spouse. Your spouse. Jesus loves you to a depth that we can't even fathom. We're told through the spirit of prophecy that that will be our study throughout all eternity. Is the depth that Jesus' love is for you. Not as a whole, but you as an individual. God knows you more and better than anyone has ever known you. He knows you better than yourself. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the picture that you've given us in Scripture of your majesty, of your power, of your holiness. The fact that you want to meet with your people, but you don't come down to our level. You don't lessen the reality of what sin is and how you feel about it. But you show us in your holiness what we were meant to be and what our future will be if we put our faith and our trust in you. That you will take us to a place where there is no more death, pain, sorrow, sickness, no more sin. That you will recreate this earth and that the universe will be once again in harmony. That there is no darkness, no sinfulness, and no tempter. Father, I pray that each one of us here will give our hearts fully to you every day. That you will use us as ambassadors. And that we will realize that, as Ray said last week, we're not secret agents. But we are to wear this Christianity everywhere we go that the people can see it and know that there is a God and He is love. Make us those people. For this I ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.